Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Retro Select, a series of quick tours of retro games I feel like playing. Today's game is New Rally X, which was a 1981 release from Namco, and a revision of Rally X from the previous year, which we've also previously seen on this series. Today we're looking at the Arcade Archives version again, so both Rally X and New Rally X are available in that collection now. New Rally X is very similar to its predecessor as the name suggests, but it features slightly enhanced graphics, better game balance, new music, and a new lucky flag mechanic for bonus points. And those few changes ensured that it was much more popular in its native Japan than the first game, and it was also frequently seen in Europe and the United Kingdom in bootleg form. It was less commonly seen in North America though, because it was only distributed as a conversion kit for original Rally X machines. But now anyone can play it nice and easily thanks to the Arcade Archives release. So let's go play New Rally X. Okay, here we are with New Rally X uh, from Bandai Namco and Hamster, as always, for the Arcade Archives series. As usual, we're going to play the high score mode uh, because that is kind of one of the best ways to play these Arcade Archives games. It allows you to chase up the leaderboards uh, and compete against a worldwide audience. Now, if you watched my vid on the original Rally X a few weeks back, a lot of this will be very familiar. Because rather than being a sequel as such, it's basically just an expanded and enhanced version. So the concept is still the same. You drive the blue car, and your job is to collect all the flags without crashing into rocks or the red cars. And the red cars, meanwhile, will be chasing you. This L flag, the lucky flag, though, this is a new addition for this one. It gives you a bonus according to how much fuel you have remaining at that point. So that's a good source of points, if you can grab it early enough. Because it basically gives you the same bonus you would get if you'd finished the level at that point. So yeah, like that, getting it right at the beginning of the level is ideal. Uh, and the flashing flag on the map is the special flag. Which doubles the points of all flags that you grab. And the more flags you grab in sequence without crashing, the more points you get for each one. So you'll see for the maximum possible points, you want to grab them all in one life. You want to grab the special flag first, and then grab all of the other flags in a single life, and then hopefully get as much bonus as you can at the end of the stage. Challenging stage, number one, and they spelled it correctly this time. Red cars don't move until fuel runs out. See, you can hopefully see right from the beginning how much easier this is than the original Rally X. And this is a good thing, because the original Rally X was fun, but it was just a little bit too hard, particularly if you hadn't played it before. Whereas this game eases you in much more gently with some pretty straightforward, simple levels. You get the chance to play one of these bonus stages quite early on and rack up a bunch of points. Earn an extra life. And you see the difficulty gradually ramps up just by adding one extra enemy car at a time. And that feels like a good difficulty curve. It's never overwhelming. It's fun, it's enjoyable. It's a massive improvement over the original. And through such a simple tweak as well.
Right, you play Rally X and then this. There is absolutely no denying that this is the better game. But superficially, they're almost identical. But there's just little tweaks as well, like the, the controls are much less fiddly than they are in the original. You're much less likely to find yourself inadvertently steering the wrong direction when you don't want to. In the original Rally X, I would almost suggest just sort of tapping the controls as you go around corners. But in this one, you can get away with holding down the stick in a particular direction and just, just keep going in that way. And it feels much more comfortable to do that. Feels much less like you're beholden to incredibly precise timing. It makes the whole thing feel a bit more like a racing game as well. I mean, it, it's not a racing game, it, it's, it's Pac-Man. <laughs> but just the controls working a little bit better really adds to that racing feel. Oh no! Oh, I was just about to say, I was just thinking in my mind, oh, we've got a pretty good run going on this time. That was my mistake. Still, we're doing alright, we've still got two lives. Things get quite a bit harder from here, though. Another challenging stage, first thing. This is some nice easy points. Just gotta watch out for the, the rocks in this one. There's our lucky flag. And then just hoover up the rest. The red cars don't move until fuel runs out thing is supposed to supposed to be a threat, but in practice you have more than enough time to grab all of the flags and still have plenty of time left over. Might actually be at my high school at this rate. <laughs> my cat is clawing the cushion behind me, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, that is what she's up to. Uh oh. Oh no, that's not a nice bit to get caught in. Go away. Oh dear. Things get quite a bit harder from here. Oh no, I've done it again. Ugh. Need to make much heavier use of your smoke screen once you get to this point. And that's where fuel starts to become an issue. Ooh, another extra life. Thank you very much. Oh! I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching. Now, unfortunately, if you get the lucky flag as the last flag in a level, you only get the bonus once. So you want to try and grab that before the end of the level. Oh, I'm so close to that high score. So close to that high score. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm going to be so upset if I miss out on that high score after all this. I'm really upset. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I 
Oh, excuse me. <coughs> that's that's very upsetting. All right, only one thing for it. Let's play again. So yeah, needless to say, I really like this game. It's an underappreciated Nemco classic, I feel. A little bit more well-known in recent years than it was. Oh, I'm not standing for that. <clears throat> I won't do that again, I promise. I promise, maybe. But I'm not standing for dying on the first level. That's just ridiculous. I haven't been paying quite enough attention to determine if the lucky flag is in the same place every time. I think it might be. And so learning where that is... ...is probably an important part of high score strategy. Ooh. Like I say, I just haven't been paying quite enough attention to say that for certain, as yet. Lovely. Alright, onward. I really like the music in this, it's got such a sort of jolly feel to it. It does remind me quite a bit of the Pac-Man music, unsurprisingly. Like it's... Melodically it's quite similar to the interstitial music in Pac-Man. Where you get the cutscenes. And I suspect that's probably deliberate. Don't know offhand if they if they were the same composer. May well have been. Lucky flag first of all, very nice. These challenging stages are so much fun because they they're just pure raw scoring. The very essence of arcade fun. Thank you very much indeed. <coughs> Onward. And because it's much easier to progress through the levels than this, you get to play those super fun challenging stages more often. Which is nice. Oh, I left the lucky flag to last, didn't I? Damn it! Alright, that's one to remember. No, no! Curses! There you are, my pretty. Oh no, no wait.
the one slight shame with the better music in this version is the fact that you can't you can't quite hear the car engine as well and that means you can't have fun imagining that you're having a shave with an electric razor while you're playing anymore with still it's a small sacrifice to make for an otherwise infinitely superior version of Rally X. Ow. Ooh. <laughs> None of that, thank you very much. Uh, panic. Panic. I panicked. Understandably, I think you'll find. Uh-oh. Well, that went poorly. I... Nothing else I can do, really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm obliged to play again after a performance that poor. Let's do it. All right, bring it. Yeah, that lucky flag is in the same place each time. Now remember the one on stage four, right down in the bottom corner. Leave me alone. I've got stuff to do. Right, bring on level two, if you please. There's the one on this level, worth remembering. They, they both appear to have stopped. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to complain. I guess they've got into sort of an endless crash loop with a rock or with each other. Either way, I am not going to complain. Challenging stage! Right, where is the lucky flag on this one? I can't remember. Yes, again, it's right there. I just, I just love sound effects from this era where they produce just a slight variation, just by very slightly changing the frequency of the sound. Oh wait. Ah! Hmm. I was thrown off by the lucky flag not being there. Well, that's upsetting. I want this. Give this to me. Without killing me. Thank you. Oh, were you stuck again? What a pity. Oh, no! 
I'm getting cocky, that's the problem. It's getting cocky, overconfident. Bride, fall and all that. Yeah, I'm disappointed in this guy. It doesn't feel like it's going well. So we can still recover. We can still recover. So easy to nab ones up the side here. Thank you very much. Let's try and keep as far away from them as possible. Oh no! I got greedy. I saw the lucky flag and I thought I want the lucky flag. And then I died. <laughs> Even gonna break sixty thousand at this rate. Although we do have another challenging stage yet, so long as I can not die, which I've just done. Okay, I think we're gonna make sixty thousand at least. Oh, that's not a challenging stage. This is not a challenging stage. This is a normal stage. I have been betrayed by my own hubris. Lucky flag. Go away. Go away! Ugh, <sighs> victory. We might make a hundred thousand at this rate. I'm not counting on it, but we'll see. All right, come on. <laughs> Unbelievable! I died on one of the challenging stages. That's the most upsetting thing I've ever experienced in this game. Oh dear me. Well, I've got to redeem myself now. Regardless of how this one goes, though, we'll make this the last one for today. I feel like that was an unnecessarily roundabout route, but, well, whatever. <laughs> Leave me alone! And you. <laughs> oh. No! I may have reconsidered about making this the last 
the last go today. I mean, yes, there's an extra life and all, but... You know, this is just disastrous. Absolutely disastrous is what it is. Right, watch this. There's the... There's the lucky flag. Why isn't it where I thought it was? Because it's there. We can we can bring it back from that earlier disaster. But yeah, after a certain point I think the flags do get randomized. Lucky flag, lucky flag, lucky flag! Thank you very much. <laughs> Ugh. Everything's fine. Everything's going fine. There's nothing to worry about whatsoever. for that special flag. Grab that one. This one. Stop scaring me like this. Rally X tags psychological horror. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh god this game oh whatever I'm just gonna grab him if I see him I grab him Comes a point where you just have to get on with it. No. Nope. No. Oh. Oh. Well, nice big bonus at least. 35,000 points, that's an acceptable score for being absolutely terrible. Right, it must not crash into a rock this time, because that was beyond embarrassing. So we're getting a thoroughly respectable score, considering how shit I was in the first couple of levels of this. Because it just goes to show that you shouldn't give up immediately, like I have a tendency to. 90,000 points! Can we reach 100,000? I suspect not, but let's do our best anyway. Special flag? Normal flag.
Okay. This is pleasingly uneventful so far. Oh, yes, please. 100,000! 100,000! Oh, not quite. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Uh, well, I ended up more satisfied with that than I thought I was going to be. Uh, but I think we'll leave that there because I could already feel... I can already feel my sanity... My sanity dropping away. <laughs> I really like that game. It's such a, such a fun, stupid little game. And, uh, yeah. So, like I say, Rally X and New Rally X are available in Arcade Archives now, so you can get both of them. They are separate purchases, separate downloads. Um, if you go for one, I would obviously recommend New Rally X, but it is quite interesting to compare the two and see how they uh, how they relate to one another and what the similarities and differences are. But, yeah, if you go for just one, just go for New Rally X because it's it's much more fun. It's much more fun, unless you really want that stiff challenge. Anyway, we'll leave that there for today. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.